Africa has become the next frontier for infrastructure development. As rural migrants flow into cities at a clip that now exceeds every other region in the world, the continent's need for new railways, highways, airports, power plants, and even entirely new cities is now greater than ever before. In this fray, many African governments have looked to external sources for funding and engineering capacity, and China has jumped in head first, using the experience they've gained from their own domestic building boom and applying it to the African context. However, this doesn't mean that China is able to do in Africa what they did at home, the Chinese development model simply doesn't work there. China became Africa's largest trading partner in 2009, and African-China trade has been growing at a robust 20% year-on-year clip since 2000, topping $200 billion annually. Over 10,000 Chinese-owned firms are currently operating in Africa, boosting the value of Chinese enterprises on the continent to over $2 trillion. China's foreign direct investment in Africa has likewise been growing at an incredible 40% annual rate, and McKinsey found that this investment is actually 15% larger when including non-traditional streams. Almost needless to say, China has become the biggest international player in Africa's infrastructure building and construction sector as well as Africa's biggest supplier of construction financing even having a larger presence there than it has in other Asian countries. Topping this off is a recently announced $1 billion Belt and Road Africa Infrastructure Development Fund and a $60 billion African aid package, of which a large portion is slated to go towards infrastructure development. And this involvement makes complete sense if we look at what China has accomplished in their own country over the past few decades, it is not lost on many African leaders that hardly 30 years ago China was in a similar place that they are now, a backwater country whose economy made up hardly 2% of global GDP. But over the past few decades China shocked the world in the way that it used infrastructure to propel economic growth, creating a high-speed rail network that now tops 29,000 kilometers, paving over 100,000 kilometers of new expressways, constructing over 100 new airports, and building no less than 3,500 new urban areas, which include 500 economic development zones and 1,000 city-level developments. Over this period of time, China's GDP has grown more than tenfold, ranking no two in the world today. Chinese engineering and construction companies have also leapt onto the world stage, going from being relatively insignificant and somewhat mysterious state-owned entities with acronym-driven names that generally start with the letter C to some of the most sophisticated and powerful such firms in the world.